Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior and this is Elden Ring. Let's continue. Got some S4 in today. We're going to save that spot for last. Alright, so... Hey look, a blacksmith. But I'm going to skip him for a brief moment and head down here. So down here, uh, there's some doors we can't open. And then this fog gate, which has a statue. Conveniently right next to it. You examine it, you can use a, a single stone war key to open it, because the other one has already got one. And that breaks the fog gate, and you get access to this chest, and then another door. I broke something. Alright, so in here there is the Crepus Black Key Crossbow, and 20 Black Key Bolts. And then here we got... This requires two keys, so this uses up the remaining keys we had. Gets us access to another chest. Which gets us access to the Assassin's Prayer Book. So, let's go over what we got. So, we have an Assassin's Prayer Book. Give to a learned cleric to acquire new incantations. So if you give it the, to that uh, priest up there, uh, he's going to be very unhappy, but he'll still get the spells out of it. Prayer of the Round Table Holds Assassins can be given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following incantations. Assassin's Approach and Darkness. Um, so Assassin's Approach is the one that softens your footsteps and fall damage, and then Darkness just makes darkness. So I don't know what the point of that is, besides just helping with stealth. Alright, also... Oh, I didn't even realize the maps themselves actually had stuff. Uh, map of the western region of Limgrave. The dens of Limgrave, far south of, of the Ur Tree, is bordered to the northwest up by the cliffs of Stormvale, and under its ever clouded skies roll the great steps of the play at Pale Land. And then the Weeping Peninsula. Um, the peninsula to, to Limgrave south is named for its unceasing rainfall, redolent of lament. Okay. Um, and then, of course, we got weapons. Also, there's a few weapons I did not read. Um, I did not read about the Morning Star. So it causes blood loss. Uh, Warhammer comprised of a globe attached to a handle, though a bludgeon, bludgeon dealing strike damage. The uh, a pale of, a, a pellative star is covered in spikes, which cause blood loss. Ironic, given its graceful name, this weapon often reeks of blood. Gives you access to kick. Alright, everything else is pretty standard. Okay. Uh, Crepus's Black Key Crossbow. Black crossbow featuring a long stock used for sniping. It has a very long range. Weapon of Crepus, uh, who served the two fingers from the shadows of the round table as the head confessor. Gives you access to kick. So this thing uh, requires 14 strength and 16 dexterity to equip, and doesn't have any scaling because it's a crossbow. Um, this is a unique weapon, I think, so you can upgrade it with uh, the Pale Shards, I think. Maybe. Uh, black key bolts. Uh, these things cause rot, of all things. Um, bolts used in the Crepus black key crossbow, an assassin's tool of exquisite mark, uh, craftsmanship. Uh, the intri intricate spiral tip bores deep, interjecting scarlet rot far into the, into the flesh of its target. So, yeah. It's a, not a nice weapon. But yeah, if you, you give the assassin's book uh, to the cleric up there, He's, he'll, he'll be like, this is blasphemous, but he'll still sell the spells to you. Anyway. What's up? Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Uh, about Rod Roderica. About the chains on your legs. I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hole. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You're a prisoner? No. There's only 
too much into it. I'm no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Alright. So, strength and armaments. Yep, requires somber stones. So we can upgrade this if we want to. Um, it's going to be a while before I meet the stat requirements. I need, what, four levels of dex and, what, six levels of strength to actually get what we need. Uh, I wouldn't mind having it because it makes it a lot easier to shoot towers, uh, the trap towers. And also gives me another sniping ranged option if uh, magic can't reach. Or, you know, if I want to save FP. Um, since I can... Cr I can easily get the cook the book to um, craft bone bolts, and I can just use those all the time for some extra uh, range uh, range uh, um, options. Anyway, uh, that is it for that. So we'll go ahead and leave. So if we go talk to Roderica. All right, tell her what the blacksmith said. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Alright, then we go talk to him. Back already. No matter. Lay out your arms. About Rod Roderica. The girl. What about her? Would you watch over Roderica? It's what she wants. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Alright. We'll see how that plays out. In the meantime. So, before I talk to her, uh, this mirror here, uh, you can use this to change your appearance. So you can go back through the whole character creation customization process. Um, it only changes appearance. It doesn't allow you to respect uh, stats or anything like that. Sure. Ah, my thanks, great champion. It's actually so you agree to it, and she gives you a hug. You are very warm, and you get a ball, uh, ball to, ball to kin for blessing. So there's a, unfortunately there's a price for that item. As long as you have it in your inventory, your H, your max HP actually drops. I am pleased to see you again. Would 
Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held regardless? Yes, please. Now, come closer. You are so very warm. Talk in secret. So if you try to talk, do it again, she'll just say, okay, you know, and send you on your way, essentially. Um, obviously, if you use the Baldekin Blessing, you can get another one by talking to her. But yeah, my HP is dropped. Yeah, I'm at 398 again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, Baldokin Blessing, favor bestowed by a deathbed companion, protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. Uses, use, uses FP to temporarily boost poise. The favor allows one to forget any aches and pains. In death there is only peace, for in death there can be no sensation. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop that item. And then I'm going to go here. And then I need to go here. Whee! Mad Tongue Alberic. He bows. And now we get the ability to do reverential bow. All right, let's go. He's got better spells than me. Oh. I don't think I have enough MP to do this. There comes that. It's gonna drink a potion.
infinite stamina, infinite MP. I came up sharper on that swing. Yep. Didn't win the fight. So there goes 15, 18 souls, or runes. I'm not going to bother trying to get it back. Yeah, he has uh, infinite... He, that was ridiculous. When he, when he cast that spell 10 times, I mean, that's so much stamina and so much FP. It's definitely one of the complaints I have about MC NPC opponents like that. Um, if I had a longer... So the way I beat him um, with the other characters, I used the Hellbird, which gave me a lot more reach, and I did more, much more damage. Um, essentially, I was able to do the jump attack thing I was doing, hit him, and then swing. And of course, he'll immediately start rolling, um, but your my swings would reach further. And then turn will eventually... Oh, clip him enough times to actually win the fight. Also, I had a lot more HP, so uh, that's another thing. Um, and unfortunately, he had a lot of HP, and my spells weren't doing that much damage, unfortunately. So it's just a bunch of bad all around. In any case, um, can, oh, I can't unequip. to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. All right. Uh, where is she then? Because you're not near the campfire. Or not the campfire, but the fireplace. What about... You're there. Probably not in here. Nope. Maybe one of the other rooms. Definitely not there. Downstairs? Nope. She definitely can't be in here. That wouldn't make any sense. But I'll look anyway. Definitely not there. Okay. Uh, I'll try the. I'll try setting up the fire again, uh, just to reset things. I, again, I keep calling. Oh, never mind. She's right there. I just looked in the wrong direction. Master Hugh, I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish, but if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice, pleased to make your acquaintance. All right, spirit tuning. With the spirit tuning menu, you can spend runes and grave, uh, grave glove warts to strengthen spirits you summon from ashes. To strengthen name spirits, you'll need ghost glove warts, which are the special R summons essentially. So yeah, you can see just from the cost alone, you can tell that the wolf, the lone wolf ashes are probably a bit stronger. So. 
with that in mind, um, we'll use two of these and see where that puts us. Unfortunately, yeah, this, the, the runes I had are in that arena. I'll eventually go back to fight it. I don't remember what you get from beating him. I don't think you get much. So yeah, we can go ahead and upgrade these since I always use wolves. And then you need tier 2s to actually upgrade to the next tier. Okay. Good to know. But now they're plus 1s. Okay. So, got myself well beat up there. So, if you ever need to go back here, it's going to be in the bottom left corner of the map. And with that all in mind, I do want to go here briefly. And you can see that is leading light to a different direction, probably to another uh, will, uh, bearer of a uh, piece of the Elden Ring. I've never been in that direction, as, you, as I have already mentioned, so I have no clue. In any case, I, I do want to talk to that fellow that um, was in there. Alright. There you are. Good to see you, Master. Do you uh, remember me? The Bok, the demi-human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Don't tell me. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. So, yeah, we already can do this. But... Uh, we can mess with this rope thing here and see how it looks. So yeah, we can um, do the altar look here. So I can get, essentially this gets rid of the hood. Sure. So uh, that's uh, what we're sporting. Oh, go and set up, please. Bot and then seamster. ready to make a yeah. So you can do it for free with us with with him. So that's the main benefit. Oh, please do. All right. So the question is, how far out do I want to go here? The tower is all the way there if I really want to go for it. Holy cow. So it would be all the way through that. All the way around to there. Well, there's a church there. Praise the ruins. Church or Erith. Hello. You're tarnished, aren't you? Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Glintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Sure. Oh, bless you, bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Tobes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Let's down Starlight. Oh! 
that, that I actually can use. This means I would no I don't have to carry a torch around anymore. Granted, a torch has its benefits, but yeah, that that's something I can work with. So, uh, creates a small floating starlight that illuminates surroundings. Uh, granted to sorcerers who depart from the academy to embark on journeys, even during the blackest nights, sojourns underground, or imprisonment in Gal, the stars are never far from a sor from my sorcerer's side. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. All oh, right, I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer, with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. About Salen. Actually, about the glintstone key. through the academy and you'll never reach the earth tree capital and if you find an extra glintstone key perhaps once you've tied up all your loose ends and i can be very patient would you consider donating it to me i know it i'm a blunt stone merely a hint of talent for sorcery but still my place is at the academy okay uh, about Salen. You've taken an apprenticeship with Salen. Well, that is something. Salen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Salen was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Alright. So, got to learn more about the um, the Academy. And it's apparently a place we can go to. Uh, which is definitely something I kind of critiqued about the Dark Souls series. Um, like, I'd always mention all these locations. Um, but you never actually get to see majority of them. And the fact that Dark Souls 3 kind of just rehashed most of the old locations. Um didn't help with that so i do like the fact that this is definitely feeling like a, a connected world that i can actually take part in granted not without a glintstone key anyway uh what is this sacred tear um oh i forgot to use the golden seed I, I've been carrying this around this entire time. Alright, um, so this will improve the flask potency. So, blessing of the earth tree, worship in the churches of all lands. This is about a faint vestige. It increases the potency of the sacred flask, restorative effects. During the age of earth tree, these tree uh, tears were used to spread the, the faith, for, uh, for theirs was once a certain blessing. So, cool, we can get that all upgraded. In any case, um, I want... Uh, how much does a tier 4 give us? 1200. So if I do it one more time, I should be good to go. So yeah, it's 200, 400, 800, um, and then 1200. Back to learn another. Buy you, cool. So I will buy Starlight. Okay, and then with that in mind, let's go a 
Let's just continue where we're going for now. Oh, hello, undead. I'm just gonna bypass you for now. Oh, oh don't mind me, just coming through. Alchemy scroll. Alright. Grab that, I'm on my way. Those spirits will home in on you if you're not careful. I can't look at the map. Uh, don't mind me. Just trying to find a way through. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to where I need to go. Ooh, careful. Yeah, that's too far of a drop. Uh, could I go up that way? That is a risky endeavor. Um, we can try going around this way, though. That looks like it has potential. Golden rune, golden rune. Item head and then visions of sorcery. Okay, yeah. Though you more likely will run into the visions of sorcery first. Well, I guess, I suppose if you go through the castle, um, you would end up in a different place. Alright, so we can summon spirit wolves here. Do I want to mess with any of this? Yes. Yes, I do. So before we do that, inventory. Uh, we did pick up something of note. Give, uh, al sorry, I said alchemy scroll. It's academy scroll. Uh, scrolls, uh, scroll of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the Glintstone Sorcerers, um, place of study. Can be given to a learned sorcerer to gain the following sorceries. Uh, Great Glintstone Shard and Swift Glintstone Shard. So those sound like upgrades. Alright, with that in mind. Upgraded Wolves. Upgrade that. Hi. Hello, what do you have? Kaku Glintstone. Neat. Let's keep on. Well, since I'm already here. Lump of broken glintstone. Magic power of foe, sorcery used by the Knights of Kaku, craftable item, launch straight ahead, use FP, a, a magic bolt spring forth for, uh, from the point of impact. Okay. Hello, good sir. Uh, having a short sword is annoying. I almost want to go longsword just so I have a longer blade. Hello. Oh my god, you're in the way. Oh, he's about to throw some shit. And Wolf, get out of the way! Oh, there you go. Alright, I was just checking something. I didn't expect the bulls to disappear like that. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. I'm guessing that's a way to make all those magic bombs. Uh, anything else of note? Don't think there is. Record of crafting techniques left by a Glintstone Craftsman who served the Academy. Contains information on foe sorceries, uh, such as they were called. Uh, acquire the knowledge to craft the following. Kaku uh, Glintstone. Uh, which requires a crystal bud and crack crystal. Oh, 
Um, we got a cracked pot a while ago, so I'll go ahead and just pop that. Alright, so with that in mind, let's, uh... heal up and just continue on. Could this be a bog? Hello. Grab those. You're new around here. Surprised you found me in my little nook. No matter, no matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you take a look at my wares? Oh, but don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? Okay. Oh, well, there's the lantern. <laughs> uh, this is also where you can get astrologer staff, which is good. And the astrologer, astrologer's uh, equipment set. Neat. I'll need to send my other character here. Uh, this thing has access to crystal darts, spellproof dried liver, and a shattered chart arrow. Okay. Uh, Estoc. Um, seed scaling for decks. Requires. A little bit of strength and dex to equip, or it's piercing sword with a long hard blade, uh, or long, bl sorry, hard bladed edge, which is also capable of slashing attacks. For its size, it can be wielded rather nimbly, leaving little opportunity for the enemy to counter. Kite shield, standard medium sized metal shield. Metal shields reliably negate physical damage when guarding, a trait which made them highly trusted on the battlefield. Lantern, a small waist worn uh, lantern that illuminates surroundings, used once to turn on and again to turn off. While its light is dimmer than that of a torch, it has the advantage of freeing up the user's hands. Okay, so I don't really need it, but I still want to get it. Uh, so, you selected. Uh, we just need to use five of these. Thank you. And then I can just uh, put the lantern here if I ever need it. Um, this also means I don't really need this torch equipped anymore. Also, I'm going to go ahead and just remove some of these because honestly, they're, they're just redundant at this point. Um, I do want to make some fire grease. There's five of them. I'm going to put this uh, on our quick bar. Since I am using a normal weapon, um, I can definitely apply greases to it to do different damage types if I need to. Alright, so I just need to head north of here and not die to get the map. I'm just going to avoid you. Oh, I can't check the map. There. Get out of the way. I just want to get the item. Or die, apparently, immediately. So whoever puts messages right next to items is... A bad person. <laughs> we'll put it that way. So I at least see it. Uh, the good news is I know where my souls are at, so I can just head straight for that to try to get back to where I was. I just want the map, so I can, and then I'm gonna go.
I pressed the I pressed the wrong button. I press I don't know why, but I pressed RB. Oh my god. St stop tra trying to read messages. All right, fine. We'll do this your, your way. What a pain. There we go. Map found. Get my souls back. Here's the map. Holy cow, look at that. Alright, we're out of here. Let's go pay a visit to our teacher. So, that, I guess there is another um, sorcery guy, uh, but he only has three spells, and that's about it. <laughs> The lesson. Uh, give a scroll. Ah, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Thank you. And then what about, well, before we do that, let's take a look at this. So there's Pebble. There's Swift Glitz, uh, Glintstone Shard. So one of the Glintstone sorceries of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. The Glintstone serves as a conduit launching swift magical projectiles at foes. This sorcery can be used without delay. Uh, those unworthy of the Stone Crown typically end their brief journey into sorcery here. Great Glintstone Shard, uh, launching a large magical projectile foe, those unworthy, blah, 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 blah. So I'm definitely interested in this. I, I, I kind of want to grab both, but before we do that. Our art draws upon the powers embedded in Glintstone, but what is the nature of such power? Glintstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden Amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while Glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that Glinstone's sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein, a fact lost on most sorcerers these days. Okay. Uh, let's see. Use that. Get us 800. And then I think I just need to do six of these. You wish to continue very well. Buy that. And by that. You wish to can very well. So I'm just seeing if she says anything different. Alright. So with that in mind, let's try this out. So it's cheaper. I want to see how it compares. So right now, Pebble. 
185, and then shark, 97. So, uh, does not scale enough. I'm gonna need these souls anyway, so I'm just doing this now. So just grabbing that axe so I, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, okay. Alright, so back down here. So that was good stuff, Pebble. Let's go try... Or sorry, not Pebble, but uh, Swift Glistone Shard. And now we can get Great, which costs five more. So we'll start with the Pebble again. And then go from there. All right. Also, I'll look at the fancy weapon that I picked up in a bit. I think it was a great axe. So, 185. 210. So, it definitely does more damage. But I don't think it does. Not sure how it compares, to be honest. Nice headshot. I might stick with it. I mean, at the very least, it's it does cost additional FP. But it does ensure that I get. It'll definitely ensure I get kills, which is pretty useful. So the question is. I could take that, um, the little phalanx thing, and then light as my options. I mean, for now, I can at least take light just so I have it. I mean, I have the lantern, so I guess it's not absolutely necessary. I do have enough to level up. So yeah, we can go ahead and drop this and then replace that with uh... Wow, it costs 12 FP for Starlight. And then we get flank Phalanx. I mean, honestly, Phalanx is not that great. So you know what? We'll just take light. If I ever need it, I can use it. Yeah, despite the int requirements, it just doesn't do enough damage. I mean, I guess the benefit here is you could potentially try to stagger, but magic doesn't really stagger that well. And the damage doesn't seem to 
You know what? I haven't actually tested the magic damage on this. So we'll just see how it plays. So 22 FP. 145. Yeah, not uh, the best. I mean, its purpose is not really for the damage, it's more for the um, just extra attacks and suppression against closing in opponents. So while it doesn't scale as well as Pebble, um, it still has just the overall advantage of um, doing more damage. And being able to one-shot something as opposed to two or three-shotting something is significant. The just issue is running out of FP faster, which obviously that could be fixed by just getting more FP. Uh, can't get off there. There we go. So yeah, I'll just switch it with light if I ever need it. And that also means I don't really need the additional slot for now. Because it's just not a good spell available. Um, if I start picking up faith spells, I'll definitely have more options. In fact, picking up faith might be an option just simply to get a more uh, bang out of my healing spell. Or uh, get more... Um, Use my FP to essentially restore my life. Oh, and before I freaking forget, <laughs> again, uh, flask, get me another charge, please. Thank you. And then increase the amount replenished. There we go. So our flasks are now upgraded in more ways than one. So now I have three slots of healing and three slots of magic, and I think that's a good place to be at. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, I may do some off-screen grinding. I don't know. We'll see. I'm The Depressed Eeyore. This was Elden Ring. I'll see you guys later.